the um, inspiring setups, uh, if they at all dog your interest, are branching. And that's it's a, a little bit of a continuation from last week where we were talking about trees. I still have plenty of tree source material. Uh, so um, one of the first things as you get the concentration is to look and think about the branching, think about the attitude of these particular uh, branches and leaves and how they grow. Uh, you might take a look over here. Um, here is a lovely Ellsworth Kelly. Uh, and I put the, they, they're calling this eucalyptus. I'm sure it doesn't seem to me, but anyway. Um, I put the uh, um, this so-called eucalyptus with the Kelly. Just to, again, jog your eye, look, uh, get that wonderful, if, if you happen to be working with it, um, that wonderful um, silhouette, the contour, which is what Kelly is all about. Um, and continuing from that, here are other little branch thoughts. Um, just looking at what happens branch against a wall, against the sky. Last week, um, some of you worked with um, some flowering branches. Um, so think about you know that. These are any kind of aspect you might want to uh, play with. And then two other things I wanted to just talk about. Not even talk about, just mention. Don't just be alarmed. Um, the quiz, so-called quiz, um, was as many, many people. I don't know if I didn't respond um, to you, but um, and two or three people from our group, and maybe and many, many, many others. It brought out something very intriguing to me, which is, I mean, I am a, I have always gone to the Corcoran a lot. And, um, and most of these pieces there, I'm, uh, I'm extremely fond of, I have a little, uh, that sergeant of the Simplon Pass, this is a detail from it, is uh, almost one of my favorite paintings, even though, I mean, it's, it just is because I just look at that and I am stunned, and I'm stunned by the effect of blue and the little bits of white and how it just, you know, it's like this unbelievable arrival at the top of the um, mountain, and you just look up into the clouds, into the blue, and it is just stunning, a stunning painting for me. So, um, anyway, that's just many, one of many. Right. Frederick and in church, the, um, the Niagara, uh -huh. I, I had a little um, um, tiny detail of just the sparkle. This was all about whites and the flow of the water. The hopper, again, similar. Um, and I would think if you've seen the Turner movie, by the way, you might almost have thought of that little yes, movie. Yes, 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 right. The red, the red, right, the red movie. Where he just, you know, nailed that. Um, this is the Sea of the Bow, a uh, beautiful painting. Mm -hmm. Many, some people said Sargent, which is not an unintelligent thing to say at all. Um, she's very much in his. Um, Camp of all sorts. Uh, this was not in it, but I just, I, it, this is a bellows. Um, I'm waiting for a show about bellows. Again, at one of my yeah. all time. Well, yeah, I could have one again. There was a bellows in yeah. the show. Yeah. Um, there's a, uh, yeah, the, the, um, the boys um, jumping into the Harlem River. Right. Love it. The, the drawing Very in that power. is so yes. gorgeous. Uh, Wyeth. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Marin. Yeah. Uh, the, those who said Pollock, right, why not Pollock? I mean, Pollock, <laughs> Pollock, because it was. <laughs> well, because it was. But you still get an A. Um, and two things, again, back to the Cecilia Bow here, back to this, almost back to any of them, partly because I concentrated on water and white. Um, the effect and power of blue with white is. Mm. Um, I mean, you're, you're, you're playing right into the audience. I, I don't mean every painting should be blue and white, though, as we probably all know, um, you know, it's extremely in decorating and everything. It's very, very popular. And 
female. But this, where she is, you know, Cecilia Bow did not accidentally put this, uh, what is it, Sita and Sarita, or something, mm -hmm. Sita and Sarita, I got it. <laughs> um, the, this wonderful cat, um, black cat, black and white, hello, you know, that's kind of winning. But this just tucked under her, her arm, the way it, you know, gives you a concentration, and then these whites, these subtle whites play off of it, just as with Sargent in, in the woman dress here. Mm -hmm. So, the, um, you know, how you use these colors, or add in often for watercolor, absence of uh, paint is um, interesting. I have been thinking, and I'm, I mean, that's what I'm thinking all the time, personally, and here too, different surfaces. Um, I've put lots of things up that are different um, some, you know, some are different in the sense that it's arches, paper, cold press, hot press, um, shirt cardboard, uh, Bristol board, and I have UPO, I have multimedia. If people would like to try some, this is just a piece of slightly off-white, uh, though it looks very off-white now with this, but this is what we've got. Uh, just cut backing, acid-free backing for framing. Um, so, uh, illustration board, um, and um, this is probably, this is a different kind of illustration board. So, think about your surface. I, I think you are all the time, but think about it. Um, bring in, I mean, uh, Ernan was bringing a lot of points up and was playing with different surfaces and was feeling out uh, you know, what you can and cannot do on hot press, cold press, because there's certain things that will just work, and you've got you to give yourself a try. Um, what is this? Probably mat board. Mat board. Weird. But when you do that, when you throw yourself in a, into a new surface, you very much get, um, we talked about this, the paper talks back to you. They, you need to, um, then you will, you might get freer, you might get a lot freer, or you might get scared, but you gotta try to push it.